20 minutes before 8 o'clock now, Wednesday morning, going to a high of 17 <laughs> degrees later today. Could see some showers in the forecast later today. Tiffany Melia is here. She's the founder of She's So Savvy.ca. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. We're, we're happy to do it because it's just, you got great tips here. It's, you've got food, fashion, beauty, events. It's all how to save money, where to save money. Right. And we were just talking during the break, and you were pointing out that there's a difference between being savvy and being cheap. Right. No one wants to be cheap. No, yeah. not at all. I certainly don't. No. Um, <laughs> so what's the difference? Well, the whole point, the whole reason it was started was because I found that living in the city of Toronto, as we do, it's an expensive city. And I had a ton of friends who, although having great jobs, were just having a hard time making ends meet. Mm -hmm. And they kept coming to me for where to go. So, hey, Tiff, where should I go for drinks, food, et cetera, shopping? Because you just always had an Because I just always had an, yeah, just knew where bring your own wine was, where prefix menus were, et cetera. And so I started to think, well, okay, if I'm the only person that knows this, then why shouldn't I just build a website that has all this stuff on it? With the point being that living savvy is not about sacrificing anything. Mm -hmm. um, living savvy is about deciding what you want to spend your money on and making that happen. So some people love handbags, some people love shoes, some people love food, some people love the spa, some people love sporting events. So it's choosing whatever it is that you want to spend your money on and then deciding what the other things are that are frivolous that maybe you don't need to spend money on. Yeah, well I love restaurants, so that's well, when go. I was looking on exactly. your site. Right away I clicked that and you've got, I, like you said, the prefix. Right and the like Bring a dollar cork exactly and there's so many great places like that in the city of Toronto and so it's basically saying like if you want to go out to restaurants then go do it but maybe you don't love shoes as much or maybe you don't love travel whatever the case may be it's saying that if, if I'm going to spend money here, I'm not going to spend money here. And it's not a sacrifice, mm -hmm. because if you didn't love it in the first place, you're not really going to notice it's gone. But it's not a coupon clipping no, not at uh, all. culture, no. Tiffany. No, not Although at all. that could be part of it. It certainly could. Um, but what I found, too, was, I, I'm, and I am all for Groupon and Living Social and all of them, but I found that oftentimes if you purchase them, sometimes they're on your computer or you don't have them or you've bought them. You live on the east end and it's on the west end. Right. And, so, and there have been some articles lately on how that happens and how buying all these coupons has actually put some people as overstretched them a bit because you get so excited yeah. that you think, oh, I'm totally going to use that. And then you don't. And so She's So Savvy was just developed to say, hey, like these deals are already happening, guys. Yeah. This is basically when you go into a restaurant, especially, and you look at the sandwich board and it says, hey, Monday night is half price wing night or Friday night is dollar corkage fee. And it's just taking all of those and just putting them online mm -hmm. so that you can search for them. So where's a good place to start in terms if you want to save money on food or on groceries? How, like, what would you suggest? Well, I mean, the first thing for saving money on food, definitely, if you're going to go out, if you love going out, I would say that certainly look for a place that offers some sort of value add. So whether it be a free corkage on Bring Your Own Wine, whether it is a prefix menu, whether it is half price appetizers, there's always those deals to be found. So certainly whenever I go out to eat, I try to pick a place like that. Mm -hmm. um, grocery shopping, make a list. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, right? But I found grocery shopping specifically, if you hop online and you check out the flyers before and you make your list accordingly, you go in, you shop, you get everything and you generally knock off 50 bucks off your bill. And take your rain checks? Yeah, take your rain checks. And, and eat before you go. And yeah, that's a huge <laughs> I never even knew what a rain check was until six months ago. Me too. Wasn't even it's on my right. radar. Yeah. Me too. Really? I check. swear. So it's basically if you, and see it's stuff like that. Exactly. Um, yeah. But it's basically, so if something's on sale and you go to the store and it's not it there. It's not there. Yeah, you can get a rain check for that price so that as soon as it's back in, you can make sure to pick that up and get it yeah. at the exact same price it was offered Mine at. was diapers and I felt so proud of myself. The diapers were on sale, but not yeah. the size that I needed. Right. Yeah. And uh, I was so, and they were like, you can get a rain check. And I thought, what? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. That's so great. What yeah. about um, beauty bargains in town? Uh, well, beauty bargains in town, we actually have someone who writes who's a, who's a great glamonomics writer. We call it glamonomics. She came up with that name. But um, what she does is she just talks about, again, not necessarily ways or where to purchase your makeup, but just tips on how to best use your makeup. So different ways to use an eyeliner, different ways to use a mascara, a blush, what to do when something cracks and you think you have to throw it out, but here's a way to repair it, things like that. Mm -hmm. So she has those kind of tips as well. So sometimes they're spending related, sometimes they're purchasing related, sometimes they're just lifestyle related. So it's saying, 
to your point, like, hey, if I'm going to use this eyeliner, perhaps I could use it in a different way. She had a great, uh, great article on makeup um, around Halloween and just how you could use the various things in your makeup bag. You don't have to go out and purchase, but right. here are some fun ways to like shade and adjust accordingly so that you can look old or young or whatever. Right. And fashion? What about fashion? fashion well, town? fashion. Uh, there are a few, definitely a few great places in the city, certainly. One of them that I love is uh, Remix Clothing on King Queen West, sorry, mm -hmm. just above the Design Exchange. So that place, actually, they get designer consignment. Whew. Really? And it's good stuff? Oh, you know, there's so many more consignment stores cropping up. I walked into one the yeah. other day, and I had no idea it was, um, yeah. it was a designer consignment store. No, it's fantastic. I actually picked up my, my friend who loves Hermes, loves it. Yeah. Who doesn't, right? But those things are expensive, those scarves. Yeah, oh yeah. We picked one up for, I think it was regular 1200 retail, picked it up for $300. Wow. Yeah, and I mean, still, 300 is a lot, but this was, she had just had a baby, it was her birthday, it was it was a big gift. Yeah. But um, but yeah, it was really, really fantastic. How so. do you feel about phoning these numbers? My wife, if she's, the other day she tried to use a hair mousse, yeah. and I went, and it wouldn't come out. Oh. Angie immediately phones that 1-800 number on the back of the uh, mm -hmm. of the product and gives them hell. Right. Now she's not trying to get a case of this stuff, right. but in, sometimes that actually happens. But but sometimes they'll they'll certainly send you a check mm -hmm. for whatever it is yeah. you spent. Well, it's funny. I was actually talking to a friend about this last night. How I, I don't think there's. Certainly you don't need to pull the fly the red flag on everything, but no. it, it is something that was certainly expensive or time consuming, whether it be theater or travel or whatnot. Yeah. A stern written letter still always works. And so it is saying that, is saying, you know what, I, I make money, but still it did cost me to go on this trip and I planned accordingly. Mm. And so, and I didn't get what I expected. And so you can certainly write a letter. Yeah. And generally you're right, whether it be product, a check, um, even for someone to acknowledge and say, we accept what we did, we apologize, sometimes that's enough, but more often than not, you will get recouped in some way or another. Mm -hmm. um, how often are you updating all, all of the this time. information? All the time, every day. So the way I actually compiled this information was the f in the first place was back in January, I split the city out into a grid and I walked the whole city. So for six months on foot, I walked into every place that's on that website. So every place that's on that website, I've personally been in and wow. vetted and made sure that it's, because the whole point is our demo is generally professionals. Mm -hmm. So you don't want something that's dodgy. There, luckily there aren't a lot of places, but I made sure to go into every place, meet mostly every owner, so that I can call. So I can call every day and say, hey, just checking, is this special still the same special? Yep, great, okay, fabulous. And so that's how we keep it updated. It's a matter of talking to them. It's also a matter of the Toronto Twitter community is amazing. I'm sure you guys are finding that. They're absolutely fantastic. And so they embraced She's So Savvy. They really, really helped us. And they're great because they'll often be talking about restaurants. Right. So I'll see something Someone on Twitter. Just and I go, me about you. Yeah. Really? She's So Savvy is on the morning show to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. It's a, it's a great site and it does have tons of money saving information. She's So Savvy.ca. Tiffany Melia, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Great talking to you. It's 7.47 now. <laughs> We're going to take another short break. Thanks. You're watching The Morning Show on Global. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. No, no, quite all right. <laughs> quite all right.